The climate crisis has been unfolding before our eyes. About one million species of animals and plants around the world are now at risk of extinction. Malaysia braces for a second wave of flooding with continuous downpours forecast in Pahang and Johor. The water level in this area was up to your neck. Some cities have seen their average temperatures rise sharply in the wake of increased development, loss of greenery and climate change. Yet there are still ways to manage climate change better and it starts with our biodiversity. This is Dr. Zeman Zulkifli, a tropical ecologist with 13 years of experience specializing in restoration ecology. Biodiversity is everything that is living around us. It includes plants, the microbe, animals, and ourselves, actually. So to be disconnected from nature is to not exist. So we need to basically be working in synergy with our environment and with nature. Biodiversity here is basically a effect of millions of years of evolution. Our forest has a very unique balancing act. It creates a lot of ecosystem services, which can mean providing clean water, capturing carbon, and these are all services which are important for us to exist in this planet. We were known to have our rainforest since 130 million years ago, one of the oldest in the world. The Malaysian forest covers more than 50% of the total land in Malaysia. In terms of tree species, we have about 8,000 species and then we have more than 3,000 amphibians and also birds. And human beings are a part of that. But what happens when the ecosystem starts to break? The WWF's 2020 Living Planet Report highlights five threats to biodiversity. Human activity marks four of the five threats. The report also states that over a period of 46 years, there has been an average decrease of wildlife population by 68%. While the Global Forest Watch, an international forest monitoring platform, documented a 34% loss of total tree cover in Malaysia over the course of 18 years. Although it seems we are still far away from the reality of total destruction, we are nevertheless still heading in that direction. So how can we get on the right path? This is the city of Elmina a wellness-oriented and biodiverse township. The brainchild of Saimdabi property, City of Elmina pledges to regenerate its natural ecosystems and protect endangered tree species by working closely with the Tropical Rainforest Conservation and Research Centre, TRCRC. Together with TRCRC, we hope to safeguard native, endangered and rare tree species by replanting the urban rainforests throughout our township. Sign Darby property is a force for good. This has led to the birth of the Elmina Rainforest Knowledge Centre. Located adjacent to Bukit Chiraka Forest Reserve, the Elmina Rainforest Knowledge Centre, ERKC, aims to be a gateway to connect communities within and beyond the city of Elmina to Malaysia's natural heritage. The Elmina Living Collection Nursery, also known as the ELCN, is a facility that can produce up to 100,000 endangered, rare and threatened tree species that's under the IUCN Red List. This initiative will ensure a continuous supply of plants to the greening efforts of the city of Elmina and Saim Darby Properties townships in the future. We hope to provide the opportunity to get the public a lot closer to the rainforest and nature and learn more about the rich biodiversity that it holds. The forestry department support the concept of green cities. When they do development, they need to think about the environment, they need to think about planting more trees. The effort made by Saim Dabi in this area is very pertinent to the need of the people in the developed areas. What I think about City of Emilia, how it's taking into consideration sustainability, working with NGOs, with different partners, with the community in order to build the resilience of a property. It's a very well-developed initiative that should be replicated throughout Malaysia. Saim Dabi property is committed to addressing climate change. One of our most significant initiatives is tree planting. We have planted more than 100,000 trees across our township since 2011, sequestering over 9,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide today. Saim Dabi property believes that the answer to the conservation of biodiversity lies in sustainable development. To make developments sustainable, how we imagine developments need to change, 
It is our responsibility to protect the Earth, to protect the only home we have ever known.